In this video, we're visiting Cenote Chichicán. Hola amigo. After a quick taxi ride, we arrived at the gate. You guys ready? A short walk through the grounds revealed the beautiful area and amenities offered here. You can even get a tour with a full Mayan experience. But we were here for one thing. We have to shower before we get in to our life jackets. And then we're gonna head down to the cenote. <laughs> All right, let's go to the cenote. This is your view. Feels great. All right, we're all life jacketed up. Now we got a little walk down to the cenote. Not exactly sure what awaits us. These wooden stairs, I guess they're structurally sound. I'm not an engineer or an architect, so I'm not sure, but it's just a wooden staircase hanging off the side of the rocks here. Yeah, me too, baby. You're almost there, Bubba. You're doing so good. So good. Hi, fishy. Good job, buddy. We'll have to go back up those later, okay? It's warm, okay? The water's gonna be warm. Let's think that it's warm. It's not bad. Let me catch your fish! Oh my gosh. It's not too bad. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's good that it's hot outside. Hang on, guys. Catch him. Catch him. Guys, <laughs> you Are you catching some fish? Got it. No. I caught it. Just oh, it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Careful, bud. You all right? Yeah. Watch your step. Right here. Oh! Did you see me all catch one? There she is. I need a fish. Oh, you got one. All right, so this is quite different than what we're used to since we've been here swimming in the pool. There's fish, there's turtles, something just rubbed against my arm while I was swimming. This is more like swimming in the wild because it's the bottom of a large sinkhole that's filling up with water and wildlife. It is pretty awesome though. The water's pretty cool. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but I've never experienced something like this. It's pretty awesome. Oh, that, that big sucker fish? See if I can get him, bud. Alright.
Hmm. All right, he doesn't want me to get him. Sorry, Sawyer. The water's not super clear here. It's kind of dirty. It's not extremely deep either. I can touch if I want to. Stand up. There's a rock ledge. But underneath me, there are rocks. You can still see, it's a little murky. But not super crystal clear like some other cenote pictures I've seen. But still an incredible experience. The kids have been mainly excited about swimming in the pool every day, but now that we're here in a cenote and there's fish, <laughs> their main concern is catching little fish. Did you get him? Bubba, what do you think about it? I fell. Hey, bud. Sawyer. Sawyer. Do you like the swimming pool better or do you like the cenote better? The cenote. You like the cenote better? Sammy, do you like the swimming pool better or do you like the cenote better? This one. You like the cenote better? <laughs> Growing up in Kentucky, I'm familiar with sinkholes. They have them in Florida as well. So based on my research, a cenote is simply a sinkhole. It's just millions of years old. And the groundwater drains into the sinkhole and creates these cool little pools. The Mayans use these. It was part of their religion, part of their belief systems. They would pray to the gods of the water for rain and different blessings. This side of the cenote is a bit deeper. There's a little platform here. I'm not sure if there's any sun that ever gets to this side, so there's probably some, some bigger fish lurking in the depths here. I see some bubbles, probably a turtle down there. I'm going to attempt to go for a swim here in the deep end. I'm the only one over here. I'll swim over to the kiddos. Let's see if I can make it. There we go. Quite a bit cooler over here. Well, nothing grabs my feet. Say. I'm gonna call it Lisha. Lisha. You got one, bud? Oh, oh look at you. Hey, if we ever get trapped down here, we could just catch fish and eat them. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah, you guys could be our hunters. Mommy, I don't want this fish anymore. <laughs> I need to 
Your mother? <laughs> Is that fun, bud? Whoa. That's awesome. What are you going to do now? Are you going to free them in the deep end? Oh, are you going to give them away? No. Oh. No. <laughs> the kids have been making friends everywhere we go, even in the bottom of a, of a sinkhole. Sammy's made a friend back here. She's helping her catch the little fish. And they just, it's so awesome to see how open and outgoing they are. Never lose that, kiddos. A human connection. Keep it always. So this has been such a cool experience for our first cenote swim. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous. Even getting into the water, I was a little nervous. Um, there are some rocks when you first go in, so I was a little nervous that I would kick the rocks accidentally and hurt myself. But it's an awesome experience, highly recommended, and it's just such an amazing part of the culture here. All right, I guess this is a part of nature. We are technically in a sinkhole and there's trees growing above us. A branch just fell from one of the trees up top. Probably a good hundred feet. We just heard a big crack on the dock. Turned around and there's, there's branches lying on the dock. The kids are going to keep it as a souvenir. It makes you more happy. Then it's fine. But take care. Take care all your life, okay? Those guys got super lucky. They were literally sitting on the edge there. Tree branch fell down. Like literally inches. The other lady literally was there. Look, you see the trees up there? Yeah, clear. Sometimes when branches get old, they die and then they fall off the tree. This one died? Yeah, it's all rotten, yeah. you see? Where is it rotten? The whole thing is rotten. How about we get out of here now, guys? Yeah, Ready to go? Yeah. Sammy, I'm very proud of you for sharing that stick with that man. That's a souvenir for him to keep as a memory. I'm gonna get you some ice cream later, okay? Bubba, <laughs> you did an awesome job. Yeah. Hey, did you guys have so much fun here in the cenote? Yeah! Can I have ice cream too, Daddy? Absolutely, baby. Full disclosure, we got some ice cream afterwards. We got a couple bottles of water, and the prices here are insane. For a small bottle of water, it's over $3, 60 pesos. Ice creams are pretty expensive, so just full disclosure, if you visit here, be prepared for tourist prices.